using electrical corrosion on some 22 litre two strokes is causing oil pump failure and seized engines at low hours. And apparently the warning light won't come on when the oil pump fails. But before you panic, it just seems to be North American models at this stage. Beta USA has issued a service bulletin to their dealers. They believe that shipping delays caused by COVID gradually exposed the bikes to salty air. So far, I can only find one other case in the United Kingdom. So at this stage, it does not actually appear to be the factory's fault. If we find otherwise, we will advise. Oh, very different. For peace of mind, I recommend checking this on any new Beta model. And if you have an earlier bike, it should be part of your maintenance anyway, especially if you use the oil injection system. In fact, you should be maintaining the electrical connections on any dirt bike, any brand, to reduce the chances of your CDI failing in the middle of nowhere. It's easy to check. Take off the air filter panel, undo this connection carefully, clean if needed, apply dielectric grease, reassemble, this is my 2019 cross trainer and it was spotless inside. <laughs> Woohoo! It's a good idea to angle the connector downward so that water can't collect in the connector. And if you pressure wash your bike, don't get water anywhere near that connection. Also, it pays to check the connector again a month or two later. In one case, a 22 owner checked three weeks later. Despite a thorough cleaning and greasing, the corrosion was back with a vengeance, along with some electrolysis. So he is probably getting a new wiring harness under warranty. While we are talking about electrics, it's a good idea to check your ground wiring as well. Sometimes the factory does not remove enough paint and there's only a small contact patch that can be affected by corrosion. Overall, the electrical system is not Peter's strong point. Dealers I know said that over the years they have had to reroute or zip tie sloppy wiring from the factory in their pre-sales preparation. Wiring under the tank could wear through due to movement of the handlebars. The Speedos have a very high failure rate. And even the 21 models saw quite a few owners getting brand new wiring harnesses under warranty, as happened to one of our riders. But like all known issues for any brand, it only affects a certain percentage of owners. In fact, I am not currently aware of any real known issues with the 2022 models, apart from the occasional electrical gremlins. If any emerge, we will put them in the pinned first comment of this YouTube video. And while modern KTMs have very few problems, the ongoing issues with the TPI system can be a nightmare for some owners. And if you see our recent known issues video about Sherco models, they have a pretty long list. Have you had any problems with your beta? Let us know. And remember to always check our pinned first comment on our YouTube vids. We always post updates and further information there.